Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a Ford Transit Connect come in on recovery truck. Um, it's just stopped dead, wouldn't restart. The engine turns over absolutely fine, but it's just got no starts. We plugged it in and it had a cam sensor fault code, which is quite common on these vehicles. I'm making this video today because I have never, ever seen anything like this. And I wanted to know if this is common or whether it, you guys have seen anything like this before but let me just flip the camera around and I'll show you. So this van is a 2017 Transit Connect and after we diagnosed that it weren't just the cam sensor that was at fault, um, we started delving a little bit deeper and lo and behold, can you see what's wrong with that timing belt? Maybe it's a little bit clearer if we show you here. So the engine turns over absolutely fine, but it's actually spun the teeth off of the belt. The rest of the teeth are intact up there. You see? But down here, there's no teeth. They all fell out when I took the cover off. So now we're going to strip it all down, get it timed back up, because obviously if the engine's turning over, it's not hitting, the valves aren't hitting the pistons, anything like that. Maybe we can be lucky, re-time it up, put a new belt and tensioner on it, and maybe she'll go again. But I haven't seen this on something this new before, so I thought I need to make a video about it to show you, see if anyone else has had that problem. You see it there, weird. Whether it's a, a nasty belt, cheap belt, whether it's been done before. The bolt on the pulley looks quite new, so maybe it has been done previously. Don't know, but let's dig into it and let's find out. Okay, so we've been doing a bit more strip down. We've taken the engine mount off. We've taken a lot of the surrounding stuff off like the throttle body housing. We've taken the rocker cover off and a few turbo pipes, etc., out of the way just so we can get a better visual of what's going on. We've taken the belt off and as you can see, the belt has just lost a load of teeth down there. It's quite an old belt, but it doesn't look too bad. But upon further inspection, we can see none of the pulleys are damaged, none of them are seized, they all spin freely. But then when we started to try and time it up, we noticed that we could just turn the cam by hand. And there is some major damage. So if we look in here, I don't know whether you can see down there, you can see all the lifters have come detached and they are not actually touching the cam lobes anymore. You see that one's still on, that one's off, that one's off. And we can literally turn it over by hand and then it locks up. So just so you know, if you do have a 1.5 TDCI Ford Transit and it all of a sudden just stops whilst you're going down the M25 like this one did, that this could potentially be your problem. So after speaking with the owner of the vehicle, he wants me to go ahead and strip it down further to see exactly what has happened and what's gone on and see what we can do to fix it. We have talked about putting a new engine in, a reconditioned engine, but that's quite expensive. Um, but if we can send the head away to be repaired because uh, having a Google search, this is quite a common fault. Um, what happens is the lobes on the cam start to move and it throws it out of timing, therefore everything hits and shreds the belt. So there's a guy local to me that can rebuild the head for us, put a new cam in it and get it all back to normal. And then hopefully we can refit it and new timing belt water pump, do an oil and filter change and hopefully have a good running engine again so he can get back on the road, back to his job. This is what we've got so far. I'm not gonna bore you with the strip down. So we've taken all this front off, so turbo off, exhaust manifold off. Then we take all of the back section off, undo the EGR valve. There's a fiddly little bolt there and there's an intake pipe that comes across here. Take all that off, take the injectors out. And so we can start to get to these head bolts here take off anything that's in the way. So thermostat off, 
and there's a bolt that goes through the fuel pump into the side of the block there. These two bolts here. So anything that would stop the head from lifting off, we disconnect and move away. The EGR pipe, we just undo and move away. So now we can take this top row off, take the cam out, and then we'll be able to get to all the bolts to take the head off and hopefully send it away to be repaired. Okay, so now we've got the cam out. That's the top cover and the cam that come out. And now you can really see what's happened in here. There's just carnage everywhere. Which is not good. So now all the followers are smashed to pieces. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the bolts out, see if we can get the head off. So we've got the second stage, the cam carrier off, the followers are out. And we've just started to undo the head bolts. This one, this one here, come undone. And then the second one has sheared the head clean off the bolt. So now this one's just gonna fight us all the way. So what we're gonna have to do is put a nut over the top of that and weld the nut to it and hope and pray that that comes undone. So then we can get the rest of these out and get the head off. So it's been a couple of days now since we've been attempting to take the head off of this Transit Connect. And in the last part, we saw one of the head bolts, of the, the head of the bolt snapped off. So we were gonna try and weld on a nut and see if it will come undone, but had no results using that method. So we had to drill out, but then this happened. So as you can see, one, two bolts out of the 10 came undone. That one there was the first one that we had to drill out and then all of the other heads snapped. So we have been drilling out like crazy gone through many, many drill bits, but we have managed to get all of these drilled out now. So hopefully we can get this head off, get it rebuilt and get it refitted. As you can see, there's loads of debris and swarf. We have uh, had a hoover on at the same time, trying to suck as much away as we can as to not get it everywhere. But that's the point that we're at now. So let's see if we can get this head off and see if there's any damage to the bottom of the valves and the piston tops, and then hopefully start the process of getting it back together. Okay, so we just pulled the head off. And as you can see, we have all of our studs still intact. We're gonna just wind them out now. Hopefully they'll come out no problem. But looking inside the bores, obviously there's a little bit of water from where we've lifted it off, but it's not looking too bad at all. There's no damage to the tops of the pistons and can't see any damage to the actual head gasket itself. So, as you can see, we've got all the parts laid out nicely to go back on. And if we just look at the head here, we can see everything's intact, no damage whatsoever. So apart from a good clean, replacing the followers and the lifters and a new cam, we probably get away with that. We are gonna send it off to the machine shop just to be pressure tested, to be 100% sure. The last thing we wanna do is put this back together and have it fail again. So now the head's off and we've done all we can at the moment. We have now sent it away to the machine shop. So hopefully they'll come back with some good results. We've got all the parts ordered that we're gonna need for the rebuild. So if you wanna join us in the next video to watch us put it back together and hopefully get this car running again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.